My name is Mark Harley. I'm an actor, personal trainer, and strength and conditioning coach based in Los Angeles, California. To start off with, I'm gonna answer some common questions that people have about the Tabata Method. The Tabata Method is a form of high-intensity interval training that uses a work-to-rest ratio of two to one. Most commonly, we'll use 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. The Tabata Method was originally developed by a guy named Dr. Izumi Tabata at the National Institute of Fitness and Sports in Tokyo. He took two groups of people. One group did moderate intensity exercise an hour each workout five times a week for six weeks. Another group did high intensity interval training in the Tabata Method format for only four minutes and 20 seconds each workout four times a week. At the end of those six weeks, the Tabata Method group had increased their aerobic capacity greater than the moderate intensity group, and they also increased their anaerobic capacity by 28%, while the moderate intensity group didn't increase their anaerobic capacity at all. The purpose of Tabata is to increase your aerobic and anaerobic capacity as efficiently as possible. Can you lose weight with it? You can definitely lose weight with Tabata Method. It's gonna jack your heart rate up, it's gonna make you sweat, it's gonna burn lots of calories during the workout and afterwards, and those are all things that are gonna help you achieve a daily caloric deficit, which you're gonna to need to lose weight in the long term. If you want energy during the workout, I'm gonna suggest you eat 20 to 30 minutes before the workout, some fast digesting carbs like fruit or rice cakes or a Gatorade, something like that, that allow you to carb up and get enough fuel to carry you through the high intensity work that you're gonna do. Afterwards, I'd recommend eating a balanced high protein meal within an hour of completing the workout to help your recovery. You can definitely drink during these workouts. I'd wait till the 10 second rest period in between the working sets or the minute long rest periods between rounds. But you wanna stay hydrated. You don't wanna dry out, get too thirsty. Drink as much as you want and you'll be great. The Tabata method differs from normal, low-intensity cardio work because instead of aiming for a slightly elevated heart rate that you're gonna sustain over the course of, say, an hour, you're looking to jack your heart rate up much closer to its maximum for a much shorter period of time. You're gonna burn more calories per minute while you're working out, and then you're also gonna burn calories afterwards due to afterburn. If you're somebody who has some prior experience with low intensity or moderate intensity cardio, and you're interested in stepping up the intensity, Tabata Method could be for you. If you're somebody who plays high intensity sports like tennis, rugby, football, soccer, hockey, swimming, sprinting, anything like that, the Tabata Method could be used to increase your conditioning and thus increase your performance. Also, if you're really busy and don't have hours to spend at the gym doing weights and cardio twice a day, whatever it may be, the Tabata Method might be great for you because you can come in and get a great workout in in less than 30 minutes. And you only need to do it a few times a week. People who have problems with their heart, their respiratory or their circulatory system. People with significant fluctuations in blood pressure. That's people with very high blood pressure and people with very low blood pressure. People with thrombosis or a pulmonary embolism or anybody else that has a condition that prevents them from achieving a high heart rate safely. People who don't have a lot of experience working out are sedentary, who don't do a lot of activity, probably shouldn't jump into high intensity work right away. Because the Tabata method involves high intensity training, I'd recommend no more than two to three workouts a week to start with. You might start off with one a week and gradually work your way up. When you become more advanced, I'd say up to four, but you wanna have a full day of recovery, ideally in between each workout. So that's gonna depend. Are you sleeping enough at night? Are you getting enough food? Are you in a caloric surplus or at maintenance calories? All these things are factors in how much you can recover from a high intensity workout before you do another one. The effects of a HIIT workout can last actually much longer than the workout itself. You're gonna burn calories during the workout, but then also afterwards, there's an afterburn effect. It's called excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, which means 
your body is gonna burn calories even after you stop exercising. It's gonna be at its peak about an hour after the workout, but it can last up to 72 hours. So after you finish that hard workout, it's possible your body could be burning calories three days after the fat. And I'm super excited to have you here and be able to lead you through all these workouts that I have planned here on the Wispence app. 